Pets, Ponies, People and Stories is a project that is funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund and South Lanarkshire Council. Its aim is to celebrate and preserve the rich mining heritage of South Lanarkshire. As time passes in South Lanarkshire, the physical scars of mining are disappearing from our landscapes, as well as the stories that we hold in our memories. Pitts Ponies People and Stories aim is to preserve this heritage for our future generations. Good morning boys and girls. Good morning Mr Dobby. I'm here to talk to you about mining and all my experiences in mining. Does anyone know what coal is? Can you tell me? It's like black stuff and they used it to like do energy in olden days. Yes. Gibby is one of the last former miners here in South Lanarkshire who can bring to life the sights, sounds and smell of the pits. When I started in the pits, they used fans, a big fan, for to extract the air. It pulled the air, it didn't blow air at you. Now, the fan you get, it's maybe about that in diameter, isn't it? Well, the ones in the pit, the blades, higher than this ceiling. If somebody was eating an orange down the pit and you were 50 metres away. If the air's coming that way and going that way, you'd smell that orange. You had all different types of people that worked in the pit. You had the miners who dug the coal, the men who looked after the ponies, looked after the machinery down the pit, joiners. I was an apprentice to the engineers that's in there. There were three engineers in there and I was apprentice to them. Working in the pits, it was a dangerous job. Everybody had to be very trustful, everybody else. One of the key goals is to get local people involved in recording and researching the oral histories of their community. I just me to tell you a little story, a true story. I didn't know the man personally, because it's before I was born, but I knew his son, I knew his grandsons, and his great-grandson as well. So, it's a fireman in the pit, so he's down the pit checking out to see if there's any risk of a fire starting. And all of a sudden, he comes running in to the office. And he's the colour of that board. He's pure white, his face is pure white. Terror in his eyes. The other two firemen says, what's wrong? What's wrong? I've just seen old Nick. Do you know who old Nick is? It's the devil. Two guys says, I think we better go down and just have a wee look. So down they went, and the further down they're getting, they begin to think, hey, he was really scared. Do you think he did see old Nick? And they began to convince themselves that the devil's done here. So down they went to the place where he said he'd seen him. And they saw him. But here it was in the old neck. You know what it was? It was a sheep that had wandered down the pit. And when he I mean, it's total darkness. And the minute his light shone on it, all he could see with his red eyes, like a grey beard, and the horns. <laughs> so that's a true story, uh huh? However, dedicated and passionate individuals like Gibby can't personally answer all questions for our future generations. Any other questions? Did you want to be a miner? What was your favourite thing to do in the mine? How much did you earn? Did you still bring the pony stone? What's the biggest explosion there's ever been? When you were in the pits, did, um, they used to bring down the bird still. If you needed a holiday, would you have to book them or would you be able to just get them? Pits Ponies People and Stories is aimed at getting communities together, old and young, to explore and research the joint heritage of their place. It's about giving them the tools, support and training in order to do this in their own language so that they can tell their own story. If you would like to know anything more about Pitts Ponies People and Stories or get involved, please get in touch. <laughs>